Hello guys, so this is my Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. So the front brake pads are almost worn out. So I got these brake pads from Talk Block Bangalore and Vesra. These are about 1150, and I think they're cheaper than the stock OEM ones. OEM ones are from Brembo and about 2000 plus. So let's put these and see how these are. So here I have a 13 amp socket, fits perfectly, some FTP brake cleaner and the brake pads of course and a few rags to clean all the brake dust off. Let's get started. As you can see, there's a pin over here. The front caliper only has one pin. So just pull this out. Yep. After a few tappings, this is out. So just pull this small pin that you see here. So you pull this pin and the brake pad will just slide out like this. Pretty thin, but anyways, let's replace these. Start by spraying a bit of brake fluid. You can see it's pretty neat now. Yeah, so after cleaning, what I usually do is I put back the old disc pads and I put a screwdriver in between these and I push the pistons up because it's a task putting them back. So that's what I did and you can also do that. Other thing to uh, note is uh, this pin that you remove, which holds the brake pad. You should always keep checking if there are any lines or any, I think, you know, any unevenness and all. This is, this looks fine. And uh, one more thing is these that you can see rubbers, these help the caliper float on the disc. So you should make sure that these you know move like this freely you if it is not moving so you'll have to open these and re-grease these inside so these look fine no cuts anywhere so i'm not going to address that now just gonna put the new brake pads and start it on the bike so these are the new brake pads are the old ones you can see And make sure you put this pin before mounting it back. Yeah, so this is the correct way. So let's put this back now. And do open your uh, brake cylinders reservoir, front one, to check if it needs to be filled with more fluid or not. I have checked mine, it's already perfect. It's at the perfect level, so you can just continue mounting this. So that's done. Now you can try to pulse this a little bit. Okay, the pressure is back. So let those brake pads break in for a few days and then pin my review of the brake pads in the top comment. So check that out and I'll link the description of the model number and all the links to buy it from in my description. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.